Hey everybody, today we're going to make some crispy tofu tacos. Before I get started though, let me just tell you that if you want a printable recipe card that you can get now and go to work with, just click on the link below. You don't need to watch the whole video. If you do want to watch the video on the other hand, stay tuned. Okay, let's get started with our crispy tofu tacos. The first thing I'm going to do is put down a paper towel and then I'm going to put my tofu cubes on the paper towel. Put another paper towel on top and then I'm going to put my custom tofu press aka a big heavy pot on top of the tofu and then I'm going to put some weights on top of it and let that sit for about a half an hour. And while that's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and get my quinoa going. I'm just going to throw it in the rice cooker with a 2 to 1 water to quinoa ratio. And this will take about 10 minutes, but I'm not really going to worry because it'll turn off by itself. And then I'm going to chop up some onions. I've been working on my speed, so I should be able to get these done quite quickly without cutting off any fingers. And once I got the onion all done, I'm going to chop up some garlic. Make sure you chop it up nice and fine. Now I'm going to mince some tomatoes. This needs to be chopped super fine. If you have tomato paste, you can do that. Most recipes actually call for it. So if you got it, go ahead and get that. And then we're going to grab an avocado, cut it in half take out the seed and then we want to cut it into small squares don't do it in your hand it's dumb I only did it for the camera and I kind of held it out of frame so I didn't do a whole lot of good there anyways but there you have a bunch of chunked avocado and now it's time to start cooking we're gonna throw in our onions and warm them up a little bit and then we're going to throw in our garlic and we're going to saute those for about seven, eight minutes, throwing in some water. You don't need to use oil, just throw in water and they'll uh, fry up nice, just as you're about to see. Okay, I've got the onions nice and sauteed and now I'm going to take my finely chopped tomatoes and mix them in with the onions and cook that all down a bit. And with all that nice and mixed up, I'm going to grab a little more water and I'm going to throw it in the pan. And this is not to saute the onions like before. This is to mix together the flavors with the uh, onions, garlic, and the tomato. And once I mix them all up, I'm going to just saute them for a little bit, let them stew in their juices, get the flavors all mixed up. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna grab my spices and start throwing them in. And the first spice we've got is our cumin. We'll go ahead and shake that in. And then we've got our red chili flakes. They're gonna put some heat. If you don't like heat, don't put so much of that. And then we've got some paprika. That'll add some nice flavor. And here we have, what do we have here? Uh, garlic powder. That'll definitely add some flavor. And finally, we're gonna finish it off with a little bit of salt and pepper. I'll put the amounts in the recipe, but you can really put whatever you want. I like it to have a lot of flavor, and we are going to add a lot of quinoa and a whole can of black beans, so that might look like a lot of spices, but we have a lot of material coming in here, so it'll be good. Okay, here is our quinoa. This is one cup of dry quinoa, and you can see it fluffs up quite a bit there and then we've got one can of beans I don't know why I put it in a wine glass it seemed like a good idea at the time don't do that it just makes your wine glass weird anyway we've got our quinoa and our black beans and we're gonna mix this up very thoroughly and then we are going to get some water 
and we're going to put about a half a cup of water no that's about a cup put about a cup of water and what's going to happen is that this is going to simmer and the water is going to bring all the spices into the quinoa and the black beans and then when we simmer it the water will steam out and the spices will soak into the grains and the beans and it will bring all of those spices mixed together with everything and it will be delicious okay while that stuff is simmering we are going to take our tofu which i have coated in the same taco sauce that you saw me make earlier and i'm going to throw these in the air fryer and wow 10 minutes later they're done and listen hear that they're nice and crispy which is a huge deal for these tacos because that's why they're called crispy tofu tacos you have to do that it's not the same if you don't okay we are ready to start assembling our tacos and you can see that my filling here is a nice dark color that's a great sign it means all of the spices and the beans and the quinoa all mixed together and all of that flavor is locked in there and they are going to be delicious and it's steaming hot you can see there which is going to be nice oh and did you hear that nice crispy tofu can't say that enough you gotta have nice crispy tofu to make these tacos and of course oh avocado it's gonna be crispy and it's gonna be creamy it's gonna be so good and of course we gotta throw some tomatoes in there they add a really nice flavor with the avocados and also the black beans and the quinoa they really finish it up there and of course a little bit of a lime garnish that's really good with the avocado and everything really it just pulls it together if you like a little bit of that sour taste and i'm going to wrap it up here even though it's a bit too big and i'm going to accidentally take it off camera they bring it back on and then i'm going to go eat it first though i am going to smother my tacos in tabasco sauce because i like it nice and spicy and here's a picture for your inspiration and finally just for fun what city do you think my tacos are in leave your guesses in the comments below